In this video, I'm going to show you what sold and I'm going to challenge your perceived value of my eBay sales. Most of my items cost anywhere from one to three dollars unless I say otherwise. And I like to shop garage sales, church sales, thrift stores, restore, antique shops, and more. Anywhere I can find a bargain. This first section is vintage to modern, figures, vases, home, and wall decor. This sale was an experiment. I gathered up antique brass and gold vintage metal picture photo frames, put together an assortment, a lot of five. I actually got these for free, and they sold for $24.95 plus shipping. And this little Linus and Cubs is a hand-painted ceramic piece dated 1994. I honestly can't remember where I found it. Probably a garage sale. Probably paid about a dollar for it. And it sold for $24.95 plus shipping. In the Goodwill, I found this stack of vintage prints. They're originally ink drawings with watercolor made by Jarecki, J-A-R-E-C-K-I-E is the artist. They were two separate lots. I paid $4.99 and $1.99 for all six. I don't know if you remember these from the 80s and the 90s, but they're really cute. They mostly feature mice, but I had one that featured a bunny rabbit. I set them up as a listing with variations as you see here, and the bunny rabbit sold first for $14.95 plus shipping. This cute little ballerina is from Kay's Estate Sale. It's very unusual. I consider it rare because I couldn't find any others like it. It, it is made from porcelain and it sold for, on offer, it sold for $26.95 plus shipping. About a month ago, I went to a church rummage sale and they had some items set aside that they had tried to auction a couple of years ago and they still had the eBay research papers with everything. I was kind of surprised by that. But I found this little blue owl, aqua blue, and it had its original Fenton sticker on the bottom. It's a little paperweight. When I checked eBay, all of them were sold out. I paid $4 for it. How much do you think I sold it for? I sold it for full asking price of $49.95 plus shipping. That was a nice sale. This next section is crafts, Christmas, and collectibles. I'm still selling those copper and wood letterpress stamps that I found at an estate sale. This ABC Little Schoolhouse sold for $24.26 plus shipping. And recently at a church rummage sale, I found this 1970s Avon Creative Needle Craft Kit. It's birds and blossoms. It's a cruel kit, cruel embroidery. Paid $1 for it and it sold for $13.48 plus shipping. This photo might look a little unusual to you, but this was a listing that I set up with variations. As you can see, I have 20 Christmas pins in this display case. And many of these have actually sold already. And I had a buyer buy four of them. She bought this little candle pin, this little bell that actually rings, a little reindeer, and this other cute little pin. The total sale of the four pins came to $36 plus shipping. And I have about $2 invested in the pins. This is a fairly recent find. In fact, the video hasn't even come out for it. It's a vintage George Coach and Sons, a little pink metal Easter basket, naturally distressed. It did have its original tag, paid $2 for it, and sold it for $20 plus shipping. It's time for accessories, clothing, and shoes. And I'll go through these rather quickly. This is a vintage top, probably a brand you've never seen, Beverly Drive size 1X cowl neck top in Paisley, sold for, sold for $17.97 plus shipping. Another simple top by Mercer and Madison, size 1X, it's a little tunic top in blue and white, sold for $19.97 plus shipping. This is a men's Port Authority shirt and it happens to have embroidery on it that says Music Doctors. I thought that was kind of unusual. 
it's sold on offer for $15 plus shipping. And yes, winter jackets are starting to sell. This is a BCBG Maxeria, if I'm saying that correctly, size large little pea coat. I did pay to have this dry cleaned. I think I spent four or five dollars to dry clean it, but the jacket only cost me one dollar. And it sold for $44.99 plus shipping. And this is a cute denim jacket by No Fuse. It has embroidery on it, so it's embellished. Quite cute, only an XL, and I think I paid $2 for it, and it sold for $24.19 plus shipping. Moving on to odds and ends. If you saw a recent video that I put out where we went to Rogersville to a multi-family sale, I found this a 1930s West Clock's Big Ben Clock. Turned out that the alarm didn't work. The clock worked, but not the alarm, but it did have its original key and it sold for $22 plus shipping. I've mentioned in other what sold videos that we went to an estate sale where there is a huge collection of Boy Scout memorabilia up in the attic and I went through it and bought quite a bit. I'm still selling it. On average, I paid one to two dollars for these patches that I'm going to show you. This 17th World Jamboree in Korea, 1991, Australia Contingent Patch, it's a lot to say, sold for, I think you're going to be surprised, what do you guess? Sold for $49.95 plus shipping. And this 1988 Pelissippi, home of the National Chief Boy Scout Patch, sold for $13.45 plus shipping. So you can make some good money on those Boy Scout patches if you're so inclined to buy them to resell. And this is a cute item that I found at the Goodwill. I found quite a few different styles of these switchables and it sold for $17.95 plus shipping. I just said we found a few things at the ReStore and Mark just corrected me, we're at the Goodwill. So I can't quit laughing. Anyway, we found a few things at the Goodwill today. Mark found this new Sesame Street Let's Dance Elmo toy at the Goodwill. It sold for full asking price of $49.98 plus shipping. Nice sale. And this Dizio's board game, another item that Mark found, but I can't remember where we found it. It was an open box, but the contents inside were sealed. Paid a few dollars for it, and it sold for full asking price of $29.98 plus shipping. Do you sell games? Let's talk about appliances, electronics, media, and more. And let's start with this small little loose sight acrylic stacked table lamp. Used a lot of different keywords when I listed this. Romantic, Hollywood. As I said, it's small, about nine and a half inches. Paid a couple of dollars for it, and it sold for $25.46 plus shipping. And this lamp was a fun find at a little community sale. I like this hobnail bullet shaped or torpedo shaped lamp, but the base had wear, so I switched out the base with another one. That was the same base, and it sold for $40 plus shipping. Another nice sale. And my favorite category, vintage to modern kitchen. Again, at the Rogersville multi-family sale, a video I put out a few weeks ago, Picked up this two-piece lot of vintage USA pottery in a beehive style. They're just small mixing bowls, about four and three quarter inch diameter. I paid a couple of dollars and they sold for $22 plus shipping. We went to an estate sale, kind of out in the country, even though it was a little neighborhood. They had lots of vintage kitchen items, as I said, our favorite things to find. And again, Mark found this set. It is a set of four Fostoria American Whitehall, a cube pattern. These are salad or cereal bowls, about five and a half inches. I think we paid about $3 for them and they sold for $24.95 plus shipping. At the same estate sale, we found these two pieces of Wedgwood made in England. The pattern is Wild Strawberry it is bone china. There were two pieces in the lot. One was a little tray and one was this little lidded bowl. We bought all these pieces for about four dollars. 
And I'll give Mark credit for finding these two. He's outdoing me these days. And they sold for $30 plus shipping. And this lot of Ford napkin holders, pretty simple, just little brass napkin rings. I pick these up all the time for about a dollar and I sold these for $15.25 plus shipping. You know, sometimes you might drive quite a ways to go to a garage sale. And sometimes you find a lot and sometimes you don't. But I did find this basic USA Falls Graph 500, that's the number on the bottom, Yorktown is the pattern. It was retired in 2007. It's just a utensil holder, nothing fancy. I paid $1 for it and sold it for $19.95 plus shipping. I found these France Arca Rock salad plates. The pattern is Rosaline, Rosa Pink Depression Glass. Found six of them at a, at a Salvation Army store in Ohio. I paid $3 for six of them and sold the lot of two for $13.45 plus shipping. Back to the Goodwill to do a little shopping. I found four of these pretty blue cube pattern footed tumblers for $5.99. It ended up one of them had some flaws, so we listed the three and the three glasses sold for $23 plus shipping. I got the Starbucks coffee cup. It's dated 2014. The pattern is Winking Eye Siren, a ceramic travel mug, and it sold for $25.60 plus shipping. And these wine glasses were featured in my last pack and ship video, a four count of Ragasca crystal clear wine glasses, truly crystal with optic panels, paid $3.99 at the Goodwill. Again, this was Mark's find. He's doing really good. I'm very proud of him. And they sold for, do you remember from the pack and ship video? They sold for $75 plus shipping. What a great sale. Love those church rummage sales. Can't get enough of them. Bought so many things this summer from church rummage sales. You haven't even seen half the videos yet. And this is brand new. It's a four pack members mark, you know, Sam's Club members mark 20 ounce double wall copper plated tumblers. I think we paid $5 and sold it for $44.95 plus shipping. How are you doing on your perceived value? Are you guessing high or low or right on target? Another church rummage sale. We picked up six of these vintage hobnail footed clear glass goblets for water or iced tea or wine, whatever you want to put in them. We listed them in a lot of two. I know we didn't pay very much for a lot of six, maybe $3 and sold one lot of two so far for $16.95 plus shipping. I found these veggie bullet blades at the Goodwill store. I paid $1.99 each for two of them and one of them was $2.99. So about $7 invested and the lot of three sold for $49.98 plus shipping. Do you find these at your Goodwill? And this is a seven count lot of vintage Arco Rock France. You'll find sometimes USA, sometimes France. I tend to think France sells better now, but the seven count lot sold for $39.95 plus shipping. I think we have maybe $6 invested, maybe. And this next sale is from the church rummage sale up in Virginia where we took you on the back roads. What a drive that was, it was fun. We had no internet service there as we were checking comps and this strawberry pattern spoon rest I looked at it, I put it down, I looked at it, debated on it, it was only 50 cents, ended up buying it, and was very surprised when it sold for $21.33 plus shipping, paid 50 cents. This simple little wood bowl was a church rummage sale find, I have about 50 cents into it. The brand is House of Myrtle Wood, it's Coos Bay, Oregon. Just a little wood bowl, 50 cents invested. It sold for $11.95 plus shipping. You know I say, simple sells for good profit. Keep watching, there's more. 
I can't remember where I bought these. I assume a garage sale, probably paid $2 for them. A four count lot of vintage glass corn on the cob holders, little dishes, they sold for $17.05 plus shipping. Back to the ReStore in Johnson City, Tennessee, I found these vintage Japan Nestle chocolate rich and creamy hot cocoa mugs. This is the second lot that have sold. A lot of two. I have one dollar invested and they sold for $12.95 plus shipping. And you gotta love those church rummage sales. Here's another sale that we went to. This is a rare vintage early American press glass, clear glass, square, yes, a square measuring cup. Very unusual, could not find the brand, could not identify it, paid $2 for it, and it sold for full asking price of $24.95 plus shipping. Would you have picked this up? We found this beautiful tray at the Goodwill. It was only $3.99. It said Italy on the back. It featured dragons on the front, hand painted, nice size, and it sold for $40 plus shipping. Two piece lot of vintage Japan blue Danube, blue onion pattern dinner plates, and they sold for $30 plus shipping. And these glasses were found at a recent church rummage sale. Bought a box of six of them. They were new old stock with the original imperial glass label. Colors emerald green, patterns old Williamsburg. Paid $8. And there's a pack and ship video out there for these. How much do you think they sold for? Would you believe they sold for $85 plus shipping. Yes, they did. Love that. So do you believe me now? Simple sells for good profit. I hope you had fun with this and thanks for watching. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. I'll see you soon.